Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in my kitchen because I'm going to be sharing, well, I'm going to be recording my favorite uh, bunting pasta to have, uh, a pasta alternative rather, uh, using um, spiraled courgettes. Um, I love it. Each time I'm feeling a bit like I want to really cheat, that's my go-to. I have been looking for courgettes, spiraled courgettes for the longest. Yes, I do not own a spiraler. Uh, I'm going to be buying one, but in the meantime, I needed to get them from the shop, but they didn't have them. And yesterday when I found them, I got so excited. And so I'm going to be recording a video for you guys of my favorite bunting uh, pasta dish. So I'm going to share all the ingredients. I'm going to watch me make it. Um, the reason I'm sharing this dish actually out of all my recipes is it's something that you can always go to on the days you feel like cheating. So instead of cheating with rice or potatoes or something that's really, really big, you can then cheat with a nice bunting meal, which tastes like pasta. So guys, uh, come on, let's do this. Let's uh, watch this lime and cotton um, recipe. If you like food in general and you are not bunting and want to see more recipes, follow my girl at food underscore with hazel girl she's killing it in there so if you are not interested in bunting but you want to see other food you want to eat food that's not anything to do with weight make sure you follow food with hazel so come on girl let's do this yes yes <laughs> okay guys let me show you the ingredients and then um we'll get back to the video later hi guys so these are the ingredients that we're going to need my mussels are frozen, but they will be just fine when I start cooking them. And then we've got some um, raw jumbo prawns, and these are Tesco finest. And I've got some coriander and garlic, which I'm going to crush, and a bit of lemon, which I will be um, adding to the um, bun to the pasta. And obviously we've got some cream and we've got olive oil and some black pepper there in the grinder be, um, behind. I've got some shaved parmesan and a bit of cheddar as well. And then I've got a bit of saffron just to add that little vibe. And I've got my crochets there. So as you can tell, all these um, ingredients are bunting friendly. You are allowed your dairy. Olive oil is allowed. You know, lemon, herbs, that's really good. This is all I'm adding because we want to keep it clean and bunting um, friendly. We're going to be quite um, a bit generous with the cheese today because if this is your cheap bunting meal, you want to really enjoy. So I will maybe add more quantities than um, normally um, recommended, which I will share in the description box below. I'm currently burning my um, wild honey nectar candle from DW. I love this candle, so it smells like honey at the moment. So let's get this dish going. We've got a key ingredient. We're going to add this um, Chardonnay. Uh, I just got this JP Janet um, chip one to add in to the um dish as well and it's a dry wine so again it's allowed but wine is always not good because it stores your weight but we're not, obviously not going to add the whole bottle just a tiny bit to give it a nice little flavor so our ingredients once again The time I'm always out of town now. I pray you never feel like you're part of the crowd now. Girl, you're my queen, you got the crown now. You got a crown now. You love me like my mother. You're my everything. Oh. I've been paper chasing, check the mileage. I head up the game like a migraine this on very very low heat i've just added the garlic now in the prong and i'm just going to be squeeze, squeezing squeezing <laughs> squeezing um a bit of lemon in the um mix just for those flavors to fill in and yeah can't wait to taste this it's always amazing when i make it so i'm hoping that we deliver today so a couple of minutes you will need about at least 10 minutes of doing this um, and I'll be back. I am adding the wine. I'm going to save some for when we add the crochet but now I'd like the flavours um, filling in together. Mm. 
Oh, it smells really, really nice. I wish you could smell it, guys. But yeah, we're getting there slowly. And our muscles are starting to open up, so that's great. Saffron, saffron is very overpowering. So I'm just adding um, not too much, but just a tiny bit. Give it a bit of flavor. That's enough. Just to give it a bit of a nice smell and flavor. I always love saffron in food. Guys, to add our pasta alternative, which are the spiral crochetti. I love these guys. Um, oh, what was that? So I'm just gonna fold them into the prawns and the mussels and watch what happens soon. I'll be back. Looking at the moment, um, we've got our prawns, our mussels, our crochets. Because it's a healthy dish, we've kept the spices um, quite minimum because there's quite a lot of salt in a lot of um, spices. So I've used, you know, like the mainstream, you know, garlic, lime, etc. So I'm going to add a bit more lemon this time. Now that we've got the crochets in, we're now beginning to seal the flavors. We're going to add in that uh, wine and that's enough now. Um, leave it for a bit. So now we've got the saffron in, we've got the garlic, we've got the wine, we've got the lime. Flavors are sealing in guys and it's going to be tasting good. Um, leave it to simmer for about uh, two to three minutes. Then we'll shortly be adding our so organic cream from Sainsbury's. So this is how everything is looking at the moment. I've just thrown in some um, parsley as well. Just one of them. Forgot to tell you guys I was adding um, spring onion. I like to add spring onion just as we are about to add the cream for flavor. Do not let your um, crochets overcook. It just really takes away um, the flavors, uh, the flavor of it. So yeah. It's time to add our cream. And silly me, I was about to add cream. I didn't use the whole cutter. I've just used just a bit, of, about half of it. And I always go for the organic cream from um, Sainsbury's particularly if I'm wanting to be really, really good. Just love the organicness of this. Mix in your cream with the rest of the dish. Let it simmer um, for a while. The next thing we will be adding would be the cheese and uh, the pepper, but let this simmer as it is for now. I'm just also gonna add some uh, Himalayan salt. I use this Tesco finest one. Oh guys, how amazing does this dish look? It's gonna be really, really good. I cannot wait to taste. So let's leave it to simmer for about two to three minutes, for about three to five minutes actually, and then we'll be back. Guys, I'm going to add a handful of um, cheddar cheese in there. Then I'm going to take quite a bit of this uh, Parmesan cheese. So I've put, I've been really generous with my uh, Parmesan. I'll tell you what the recommended bunting um, cheese uh, daily um, dairy intake is. So you can tell it's starting to thicken more now that we've added the cheese, um, etc. It smells really, really good as well, this. So let it simmer again, three to five minutes, and then we'll be back and see what's happening. By that time, it should be really ready to serve. So guys, here is our pasta dish, our pasta alternative, bunting friendly, courgettes, uh, prawns and mussels, which I made for you guys. And hopefully you will try it if you're on the bunting journey or on the keto journey, because I think it's quite similar. So there it is. Let me plate it up and I will show you guys in a bit. So guys, there's the um, finished um, uh, dish. There we go. Oh, 
plate it up in my pasta bowl and I've got my black pepper there to season and I'll be really enjoying this um, with a glass of uh, water or I will put in some footies um, drink let me know if you'd like to see how I make my footies drink so there we go guys delicious I cannot wait to dig in let me know if you do try this this is such a healthy alternative to pasta guys thank you so much for watching my recipe video I hope you've enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section below and I will record some of my bunting uh, favorite recipes for you guys um, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed um, subscribe I'm hoping to do a sit down video and share my before and after pictures and talk more about bunting as a whole because I know I talk about it and many people don't know what it is about and so I'm gonna do a um, full-on sit down video where I talk to you about my bunting um, diet why I started it why I'm still on it and why I will forever be a banter come what may um, yeah so guys, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.